So uh, moving on to the next uh, slide, which is um, current learnings from the, the national structure. Obviously, it was my first event uh, traveling with the national team. Uh, and what a fantastic week it was of learning, um, learning about the girls, learning about how well they handle the pressure, but also seeing the girls improve, you know, from our first game, it was quite clear that, you know, the, the structure that was currently in place um, needs a lot of work. Um, the girls have uh, tremendously improved during that week, and it just goes to show the more games that they're playing, the better the learning is, and the more progressive they are in terms of their cricket. Um, one of the key factors that we've learned um, is especially for coaches, girls, administrators who are involved in clubs at the moment, some of the key areas that we need to focus on is controlling our wides. We bowled 98 wides across the tournament. That is uh, equivalent to 16 overs in a T20 match um, without any consequence. So, you know, that, that unfortunately cannot uh, be consistent going into the qualifiers. So if there's anything that you girls are going to be working on or you coaches want to get your girls to be working on, it is to control wides uh, and obviously extras fit in that as well. We have um, a low dot ball percentage for our bowlers. Um, we actually need to increase that. And what we find is uh, the more we increase, the obviously the better the chances of our uh, win ratio is. Um, and that's something that we've started to get our statistics around. Um, and that tells us exactly at what point uh, we are likely to win a game or we could be very unlikely to win a game now. Um, compared to some a team like Italy, um, obviously the, the bowlers are a lot more consistent, um, have a you know less wides count, less extras count, which helps them sort of get closer to the end result. So we need to sort of be better in what we're doing. And the girls are fully aware, uh, especially from an individual's point of view, in their appraisals and what they need to be addressing and the value of that. Obviously, from a batting perspective, uh, we have a, a, not everybody, but over the tournament, uh, a percentage of, uh, you know, 50 plus percentage of uh, high dot ball percentages. Now, if you're thinking as a coach, well, what does that mean? That means that we need to decrease this percentage in order for our batters to have an opportunity to score better. So the, the higher the dot ball percentage, the less runs we're st scoring or the less singles we are taking. So that's more dot balls in the scorebook. Um, if we can increase them in finding a, a selection of shots where we can find a single or a boundary, that obviously um, sort of allows us to reduce um, you know, uh, uh, our percentage. So it, it gets us uh, batting better, um, but it also allows us to win more games frequently. Uh, the area of fitness and fielding in terms of the standards, uh, which we'll come on to in a second, um, the, the mental, emotional control, the cricket in the intelligence and the skill adaptability around the culture is something that I want to talk about in, in the next couple of slides.